The Tier 10 imaginary Soviet battleship, Kremlin, is the newest battleship which was added into the game. And now the game is infested with more camping because now we got a lot of players grinding their way to this floating legend. And the meter is so fun for battleship. You sit. You snipe. You reverse. You cry for helps from CV players to handle destroyers for you. Exactly. That is how you play battleship. Literally and figurally. If you are that type of battleship player, you may skip this video and go do your own thing. But if you are a thinking man who wants to be a good player, then you may stick around. If your motto is a legend, then this thing is totally a copy by the Russians. Except the Russians forgot to copy the legend part of it. Those two battleships can be distinguished by three categories. AA, armament, and armor. While Yamato AA is a part of what happened during Tengo mission, Kremlin gets quite strong AA. Compare Rabel to its rival capitalist Pig Montana. Yamato is dang tanky with annoying torpedo damage reduction. While this made in Russian dream floating capital somehow has torpedo belt that is made out of wood. And the armor is so thick at the spots that it doesn't need to be thick at all. The imaginary legend Kremlin has an amazing health pool, which can be as huge as 68,000. Except the hull protection is not as good as the imaginary German beast that can't hit anything. Similar to the legend Yamato, Kremlin got quite big guns. 457 millimeters, 9 of them, which can be intimidating to a lot of people, and that is if you can hit stuff. This is the best description for Kremlin's guns. With precise aiming, the dispersion looks like Yamato, while it gets the special treatment Stalin steel that can be guided to enemy citadel. Without precise aiming, the dispersion looks like a shotgun. An actual shotgun, in a sense. Kremlin is a shotgun that somehow can hit stuff at maximum range if you put 8x scope on it. To play Kremlin, you must first acknowledge that HE spammers are absolute cancer, and you must take care of them first. You do it by shooting them with your precise aiming, and let Stalin spirit take care of the rest for you. Kremlin is not a sniper, however, its protection is not good enough for you to sit in the middle of the cap like Kremlin in PC. So from now on, if you are on a heavy fire flank, you don't bow on and reverse. Instead, you pull a tactical retreat and run away. You should absolutely do this especially when you see destroyers and HE spammers on our flank. Because you can't effectively deal with them. And it is even worse when your random teammates are often known for being not reliable. Remember, your primary target is HE spammers, or silly cruisers that sails too far into the cat. If you got nothing to do, just load precise aiming and impersonate Yamato. More often or not you get better results that can be compared with Yamato. If your team is losing, you retreat. But if your team is winning, you gain position and push along them. So you can farm damage and be shot at. So your team can keep winning. Again, this is not a battleship for noob campers. And if you want to be a noob camper, just buy the OG Yamato. Sit in the back. Cry for help because Midway attacks you. Blame on bad teammates, while refusing to share HP with them like an idiot. So if you are new to the game, buy your Mato and be that battleship player. But if you are experienced, you have enough knowledge, and you desire to get better at playing the game, you buy Kremlin then rewatch this video to remember the advices. Kremlin is a battleship that is almost perfect, and it offers the unique style which is not for everyone. But again, everyone can get better, so eventually Kremlin is for everyone. Just make sure to know that you have the knowledge of what Kremlin is and you have the ability to respond to battle situation. Then Kremlin is one of the best ships to play in tier 10, with guns that can be as accurate as Yamato, and secondary is as good as the German at brawling range.
This is the elite bonus you should take to be a good player. For the supplies, take preventive maintenance pack, improved brew rations, and refined diesel, because this is what good players use. For equipment, you take main battery modification free, because you need shells to hit to count damage. For the second slot you take propulsion modification 1, so you can accelerate faster. For the third slot, your choice between concealment system modification 1 or other. I personally picked concealment, because I like going undetected and getting called out for cheating. You can pick concealment yourself if you want to be a special durian, or you can use rudder if you prefer to be a casual durian. The call is yours. Finally, this is how you train your commanders, regular or premium, are both offered here. Follow these simple instruction and you will find joys playing this Soviet battleship. Believe me, it is fun, as long as you know what you should do. Now go out there. Show everyone that your Mato spammers are just a bunch of noob lords. And remember, don't be the noob lord. <laughs>